One of the most popular questions we get in our HR certification study group on Facebook from HR professionals who are working towards their HR certification exam is, how much time do I study each day? And how long do I study for before I take that exam? Research suggests that the optimal length of time to study for is just 30 minutes. It's the amount of time to allow your brain to absorb the information and not get distracted by other things. Doing this increases knowledge retention come test taking day and also when you need to recall that in an HR work situation and in real life. So 30 minutes. The challenge is it's very different than school, right? We're very busy. We were busy before when we were in college, but now we have families, we have demanding jobs, and we might have a busy social calendar. So how do we fit in time to prepare for our HR certification exams? One of the beautiful things about 30 minutes is that you can find 30 minutes throughout the day. Maybe it is 30 minutes during your commute. Maybe it is while you're waiting in line or in between meetings or a short walk from the parking lot to your between offices, there is 30 minutes there for the taking. One of my favorite ways is to spend time at night just before I go to bed. In the ACE to HR exam class, we have audio lessons and glossary terms that are in 30 minute increments designed for you to listen to when you're getting ready to go to bed, during your commute, or when you have a spare few minutes. Another great way to make time for yourself is to get up between 30 and 45 minutes earlier. Start the day 30 to 45 minutes earlier and spend that extra time reviewing materials. I like audio learning because it allows me to multitask and so I can be putting up dishes in the dishwasher, cleaning up the kitchen, enjoying a cup of coffee while we're reviewing materials in preparation for my HRCI or SHRM certification exams. The point is, is it's going to take dedication and time. You're going to have to buckle down and focus your efforts and maybe delegate or give up something to find that extra or 35, 30 to 45 minutes a day. That might mean getting help from friends or family to help with dinner a couple times a week or talking to your spouse or partner to see if there's other ways to make time throughout the day. Be smart and really look for opportunities in unusual places. Commute, getting up in the morning, and when you're kind of spending in line, spending time in line, maybe waiting uh, in the school pickup line are all opportunities for you to steal a little bit of time to prepare for your HR certification exam. Well, thanks for joining our video about how to prepare for your HR certification exam, how to find time to study, and what to do. You can learn more helpful tips by visiting my Facebook group. It's the HR Certification Study Group on Facebook, free to anyone to join. You can go there and start connecting with other HR professionals who are working towards their HR certification exam. I'm Jessica Miller Merrill. I'm the founder of Workology, and we teach HR certification prep courses as well as other membership learning for HR pros. I'll see you soon.